Alright, for your materials needed, we are going to use our super bulky yarn. Lime Brand, Hometown USA is what I'm using. That's the color. And for adult size, you're going to use size 15 20 inch circular needles. If you don't have exactly 20 inch, that's fine. Now I'm going to do a child size version and you do a size 13. So the width won't be as big as the adult size. And then a stitch marker. And you're going to need a long tail because you're going to cast on 47 stitches for adult size, 37 stitches for the child size. So I twist the yarn and I have the, my thumb and index finger in the middle. Then I grab the yarn that's underneath and then I pull it through. And that's how you make a slip knot. Then we're going to tighten it around our needle. Okay. Now this is how I hold my yarn. I just get my thumb and index finger in the middle of it and then grab the other yarn under here, my other fingers, and then I just pull it. Okay. And then I get my needle and I go under and I grab this. Then I go over in between those two and in between these two. That's two. Let's do it again. Grab this. Go in the middle of both of those. Okay. Okay, do this 47 times, child size 37. Okay, so right here, I am going to slip my first stitch on my right needle onto my left. This is how we join. And then you're going to knit these two together. Grab your working yarn, not your tail. And I wrap it around my pinky. I don't know. It works good with my tension. And then put my needle front to back. Bring my yarn over and around. And then slide those stitches off. Okay. And then we get our stitch marker and we place it right there so we know this is now the beginning. Bring our yarn to the front when we purl. Bring our needle from the back to the front. Get our yarn and then put it over counterclockwise. Now, bring our needle down like this and then pull it off. Okay, our yarn's still in the front. We knit with it in the back. Coral in the front. Okay, needle from the back to the front. Bring your yarn counterclockwise. Okay, and do the next one. And this is how we purl. So purl all the way to the end until you get to your stitch marker. Okay, so I purled all the way to my stitch marker. I bring my stitch marker over. And now for round one, we knit. So I bring our yarn over to the back. And then we have our needle in the front and we put it in the back. Then we bring our yarn over and around counterclockwise and then bring your needle in the front and slide it off. Okay, front to the back, bring your yarn around. Okay, front to back, yarn around counterclockwise, bring your needle under, slide it off.
Okay, so for round one, we knit. Round two, we purl. Round three, we knit. And round four, four we purl. Now I just showed you how to purl a round, and I'm showing you now how to knit a round. So I will see you at round five. Remember to follow along with the pattern. Okay? So our next round, we're going to purl. Okay, so for round five, we knit one, and then we yarn over twice. So one and two. And then we do this again. Knit one. And then yarn over twice. All the way to the end. Okay, so I just yarned over twice and I'm going to knit our last stitch. And then you yarn over once, okay? Now we put our stitch marker over. Now for round six, we're going to purl. So I'm going to bring our yarn in the front, keeping that yarn over. And then it says to purl around, dropping the yarn overs without working them. Okay, so you should have the same amount of stitches as you had before. So we purl our first stitch. And then we drop these two. Okay, and then we purl. And then we just slide them off. Okay. And do it one more time. Pearl. This is really nerve wracking. <laughs> one, two. Okay. And that's how you get the dropped stitch. Okay, so I just did my last pearl one. And then we take this yarn over. And we drop the yarn over. And we put a stitch marker on a right needle. And then we just repeat rounds one through six four more times. So round one, we just knit. Okay. Okay, for the child size, I repeated three times. So I have one, two, three, four of the drop stitch. And then I did rows one through four. And now we need to bind off. So I just finished with the purl round and you don't need your stitch marker. So what we're going to do is knit two and it says to bind off loosely. One, two. Now grab your first stitch that you just knitted and bring it over our second stitch and pull it off. Okay. Now we need to knit a little loose. And then we knit another one. This one. And then we get our first stitch, bring it over our second one. Okay. Okay. Do this all the way to the end. Remember to bind off loosely. Okay, our last one. Okay, now I pull the needle off a little, enough so that we can weave in the end. Grab our scissors. Then I pull the remaining yarn out. Now weave in ends. Okay, so we can tie a knot here. 
and then I go and I weave on the inside. You're basically just hiding your yarn the best that you can. This is how I do it. And it works for me. And then I go back the same where I started. Okay. And then you can cut that. Okay, you're done.